A consumer alert this morning. The FDA is recalling two thyroid medications. It's due to a potential problem with the drug's ingredients. The two are labeled under the brand names Synthroid and Triostat. Doses range from 15 to 120 milligrams. And the FDA says the maker of one of the ingredients was found to have deficient manufacturing practices back in 2017. People are urged to continue taking the medicine until they have a replacement. The recall is really just a precautionary move. No incidents have been reported. But joining me now to talk about this is Dr. Scott Ackerman with the Ackerman Cancer Center. Dr. Ackerman, I know the FDA is saying continue to take the medicine. Don't be alarmed. But what are your thoughts on this? Good morning, Nikki. So the FDA has recalled these two drugs called levothyroxine and lidothyroxine that are manufactured by a specific um, manufacturer called Westminster Pharmaceuticals. Synthroid is a brand name for levothyroxine. And Synthroid itself is okay. It's these generics of levothyroxine that are potentially a problem. And there's lots of generic of the Synthroid drug. Now, from what you've read about what this issue could be, what kind of problems could it potentially cause? Well, from what I understand, I've read in detail the FDA report, they think that at this manufacturer in China, that some, uh, some impurities can go into the drug. There have been no reports of any adverse events because of this, but there's, that this manufacturer has been known to have some impurities in their drugs, and so the FDA has looked at that and said, you know, for now, to be safe, don't use the, these, these drugs of, of levothyroxine from this manufacturer. You can go to the FDA website, and they have listed very clearly the lot numbers uh, of, the, of the drugs. How, how crucial is it that you get to your doctor and get a replacement? Because I know even you know, a few days without thyroid medicine can make a big difference for a lot of people. Right. You do, you do want to take the thyroid medication daily. You really don't want to have any kind of gap. So look at the medication you have. See if it's manufactured by that manufacturer, which is called Westminster Pharmaceuticals. If it's not, you're okay for now. Okay. But if it is, I would see my pharmacist maybe and see if the pharmacist can exchange it for the brand name. You may have to pay for it. It may not be covered necessarily, but you may have to pay for it. But this drug is a very inexpensive drug anyway, mm -hmm. and I think it's worth doing that just to be safe. All right. We so appreciate your time, Dr. A Dr. Ackerman, and especially your knowledge. Thank you very much. And you can find more about this story on news4jax.com.